anyways, I am heading to Belle Island. Uh, it's Friday evening. Just got done with work from the shoot we're on. I was gonna wait till the weekend to do it, but the forecast is really iffy, so I motivated myself. I don't know if you could see that with the wide angle, but out there over the river is the bridge I need to take to Bell Island. I gotta assume it's bike friendly, but I actually did no research on this, so we'll find out. A lot of little um, cutting away from the river and back towards the river, as I'm guessing um, the road bike lanes would be a little faster, but I'm gonna see how long I can try and hug this kind of trail to get there because I'm in no hurry, so. But it does look like some good bike lanes would take you down this road as I was here the other night for the Lord Huron concert. It's all blocked off. Looks like they're putting in park and riverfront. I have no idea if this is going in or coming out though. Looks like new concrete. Not gonna, not gonna risk going through the construction site, so out on the road to detour. And we have a full protected bike lane, which is nice. So more of uh, outer Detroit needs this or the uh, cities nearby, because all the roads are very overbuilt. Um, as you get out of Detroit with very little bike infrastructure in most places. I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of people on Belle Island tonight, judging from that little park I just went through where there's tons of people out picnicking and hanging out. So there's restroom facilities and all kinds of stuff. It's a bike lane that was probably once a shoulder, which is better than nothing. But if you were nervous, like this guy up here, there is a protective sidewalk. Also tons of broken glass in the bike lane, so I feel right at home. Just like riding over a bridge in Akron. There was a wild uh, the bike lane crossing. They wanted you to go over all these lanes right on that curve back there. <laughs> it was pretty stupid. Um, there's been a couple of those getting here, so. Still better bike infrastructure than a lot of places. I mean, I get it that they put the bike lane on the left side so you're not between the parking and the driving, but when you come out for a bike ride, I don't think this is exactly on a, on a waterfront. This is not exactly where you want to ride your bike. In my humble opinion, as the kids say. Little historical fact that I learned when we were actually filming the Model A tours around Detroit. Um, this island was really originally called Pig Island because the settlers had put all their pigs out here because there were no natural predators. So at some point, I guess they decided to change the name to make it a little more pleasant. Belle Isle, beautiful island, a little better than Pig Island. a Great Lakes Museum and some kind of big greenhouse. Looks pretty cool. As a photographer standpoint on Belle Isle, if you want a pretty picture of the Detroit skyline, you'd have to do that in the morning. I'm here in the evening and the sun is 
basically right over all the buildings. So pro tip, get up early if you want the pretty uh, pictures of Detroit skyline from this area. All right, broke off the road finally to go. To, I saw a sign for a lighthouse, so we're gonna go see if this little gravel path takes us to the lighthouse. There were no, um, no biking signs, no cycling signs, so I assume we're allowed to ride this. Well, this probably isn't legit riding, but it's a lot better than the uh, bike lane along the road. It is paved, so who knows? <laughs> Getting that island grab grab. Some actual bike path out here now. Hopefully this goes for a while, we'll see. ceremonious end to the bike path but you know I, maybe they're still building it out I don't know what they're doing with that oh now the, the bike path is back but they give you no indication of that but it's cool there is a beach out here an actual beach lots of people hanging out got the Detroit view in the background I think I'll jump this curb and head over there No curve cut. Now I'm letting my Wahoo route me to a brewery I wanted to check out. I was here a few years ago, so I wanted to stop and get a drink and see what the area looks like now. Yeah, so we'll see how the Wahoo does. This road's really chill and I'm on it for a mile, so. Decent bike lanes on all these uh, cross streets. Impressive. Um, it's almost like certain parts of this they're not taken care of anymore, like, look like the fire hydrants weren't working and the houses were abandoned, so I mean that's what makes the road so chill, but
we finished wor working early today on Saturday, so I kind of got a bonus half day to ride my bike. Lots of spotty thunderstorm chances. I just went to a coffee bike shop to see if I could wait out what they were showing, but they keep changing it, so I'm gonna risk it, have my rain jacket, and set a destination to a brewery in case it's raining by then, I'll just get a beer. So let's ride some more of Detroit. Casino spur economic development, uh, or so we're told, but why is everything empty across from this casino then? I'll do without them. One of those annoying days where they keep saying rain and it keeps not happening. Could have been out riding this whole time instead of drinking a beer, but they're showing horrible thunderstorms, so I don't know. at the brewery can't drive back to the hotel yet so I'm gonna cruise around some Detroit neighborhoods and I don't know just cruise I mean no shade it's just wild um, this is the edge of downtown and these kind of neighborhoods like everything is gone um, Detroit's a massive place and some of these inner neighborhoods, they've just torn them down. There's nothing else to do. Um, we're doing it in Akron on a smaller scale. But like, you can see the skyline right there. I know it's not wide angle. There's a velodrome right there. All right, uh, wrapping up the night outside Founders Brewing in Detroit. Uh, Founders is Grand Rapids. I didn't know they had a brewery here, but I have shut off the GoPro because I realized I used the same mount with this O light that I used for the GoPro, and I should have already planned ahead and brought two of those, but I didn't. So the light is more important now as it's getting very dark out here. I need to get myself back home, so. I don't know. We'll see the end of this video. Maybe. No, maybe I'm gonna ride tomorrow. Maybe I'm not. Slurring.